मसाज ऑफ ज्वाइंट्स स्टिफ एंड सोलन ज्वाइंट्स कैन बी क्योर्ड बाय मसाज कंबाइंड विद मैकेनिकल मूवमेंट्स मसाज इज हाउ एवर नॉट रिकमेंडेड इन सीरियस इन्फ्लामेटरी केसेस ऑफ द ज्वाइंट्स एंड इन ट्यूबरकुलर ज्वाइंट्स इट शुड बी Avoid in infectious diseases like diphtheria and gonorrhea, which cause formation of pus, as massage may spread the pus to the entire system. Sprains and bruises can be cured by massage. In this cases, affected parts should first be cleaned with hot water for fifteen to thirty minutes. Next, the massage should be done for few minutes. Gentle stroking and kneading is recommended on and around the injured tissues. Fractures can also be treated through massage. This form of massage is of great help in atrophy of muscles, which usually follows if the muscles are not used for any length of time. This condition may also be brought about by injuries, disease of the joints, inflammation of the muscles and nerves, and by too long use of cats, bandages, and splints. A human being carries one half of the weight of his body in form of muscular tissue. One fourth of the blood supply circulates in the muscles. When one gets a good massage treatment, the muscles get regenerated and are then capable of holding half of the blood supply. Massage this provides additional nourishment to feed muscular tissues, helping them to grow strong. Tapping, striking, and vibrating help the muscle to develop its contractile power. Muscle massage is brought up by first effleurage, kneading, followed by tapotement. Little active and passive movements are given. Massage is employed by eliminating muscle contraction. and for breaking of adhesions a little moderate kneading and percussions may cause muscles to contract and become stronger deeper circular kneading and vibration loosens the muscles kneading in the under and round the muscles breaks up adhesions